Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to explain the configuration and setting for the Kali machine and tell you how to set up wireless adapter. Now, if you would like to learn about ethical hacking, graphics designing, programming, web development or other sort of computer tips and tricks, then don't forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you won't miss future video. Watch the video till end. So without any further ado, let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back again. So now I have already opened my virtual box and as you can see, I have the machine which I installed in my previous video and if you haven't seen that video then go to the i button on your top right corner then watch that video and come back here and uh, please watch carefully till end so you won't miss anything so now to configure it properly you can go to setting or right click and setting or press ctrl s after this you will get a window small box now here you will get different options on your left and right so inside the general option as you can see I am inside the basic tab name Kali Linux or any name you want the name of the machine you can name it war machine also no problem and type should be Linux because we are obviously going with the Kali Linux so it should be Linux otherwise maybe if you are installing Microsoft Windows in your virtual machine like Windows 7 10 or 8 or XP maybe then you can go to Microsoft Windows then select the Windows for the system right but we're going with Linux and inside the Linux the version should be Debian 64 bit so I have downloaded the Debian 64 bit but if you have another version I mean 32 bit then you can go with that so Kali Linux is from Debian family so go with Debian 64 bit now go to advanced tab now here you can see a path where you can save your snapshot a snapshot is like a the version of your machine suppose after install installing this machine I have I have a, I haven't done anything yet I haven't in installed a program or anything so this is a clean machine so maybe I can save it like a clean machine and that will save into this folder and after after that maybe I will inst install some programs and and call it a machine with program and take a snapshot and that will also to be saved in this path so this is the path where you can save your snapshot and shared clipboard clipboard is a place a virtual place where you can um, copy or cut your file then paste it from there so uh, what it's suggesting you can set it by directional or you can disable it also uh, which means you can share your clipboard from virtual machine to host machine and drag and drop features is also same so I am keeping it in uh, bi-directional so go to system now and base memory which is RAM RAM I am giving like 2048 MB or 2 gigabytes so I have 8 gigabytes of memory in my system and out of that I'm giving 2 GB to my Kali machine but if you have more RAM maybe you can give more maybe like 4 GB or 8 GB no problem the more is better so inside the processor tab you can give the processor also so I have four cores in my processor maybe you have eight and out of four I'm giving it two and that won't create any problem so if you have eight then maybe you can give four so leave it like this and motherboard so now after this I'm going to display and the video memory is by default set to 128 MB 
maybe video memory you don't need more because uh, Kali Linux is basically a command line interface so there you cannot see graphic user there are there are some things which are in a graphics user interface but uh, mostly you you will execute it in command line interface so 120 MB will be sufficient for my case maybe you can give more according to uh, your the uh, graphics storage you have the graphic card you have all right now go to net network then here uh, it should be in net network but we can we will change is uh, change it to a net network later when we are going to install the wireless adapter okay so after this you can go to okay then basically you are done now we're going to install the wireless adapter but before that you need to install the extension pack in your virtual box so you can i have already downloaded this from the website man you can download it from the link given in the description below so to install this uh, extension pack open your virtual box go to file preferences then go to extension now click at this add sign now the my virtual uh, machines uh, extension pack is on desktop so i'm going to desktop and select it then open and install go all the way down and agree yes the extension pack was installed successfully done okay okay now it's it's the turn to install your wireless adapter uh, in my case, I have the wireless adapter of TPWN722N version 2. Maybe you have another type of wireless adapter, but remember, this is uh, this is an external adapter which supports monitor mode and uh, packet injection. All right. So to install the TP-Link WN722N version 2, first of all, you go to setting. and usb and click here but here you cannot see your wireless adapter now i'm going to connect it here you can select usb 2.0 go here now you can see now here you cannot see the actual name of your adapter like my tp link wn722n version 2 but instead of that you can see the chipset version so mine is realtek 802.11n and i see so i'm gonna click on this and okay and you are done so follow up in, in my next video to how to enable the monitor mode and packet injection in this adapter if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel so you will get updated with next video